verdant, lush, green. These are words that would not normally be used to describe an abandoned mine. However, the results of a groundbreaking initiative to restore the orphaned Opamiska mine near the town of Chape has the potential to end the scarification of the land by orphan mines. On June 20th, the town of Chape invited the press, along with the MA for Region, Luc Ferland, and the Environment and Natural Resource Minister, Martine Ouellette, to see for themselves the fruit of the hard work that was a result of close to a decade of research and over four years of physical labor. The initiative has brought together a multitude of organizations from local and provincial government officials to Chape Energy, the Canadian Institute of Mines, Fono, Biolistic, and many others. At the press conference, Minister Ouellette spoke of the need to encourage Quebec businesses to work towards sustainability. She encouraged Quebec businesses to use locally produced timber as a building material, as well as furthering legislation requiring mining companies pay 100% of the cost of restoration as opposed to the 70% as it currently stands. Ben, en fait, euh, là, nous, on a, mis, on a déposé une nouvelle loi sur les mines qu'on a déposée à l'Assemblée nationale qui va être étudiée l'automne prochain. Et dans cette nouvelle loi-là, on oblige toutes les entreprises minières à mettre dans un fonds 100 de l'argent nécessaire, euh, garanti, là, pour 100 de l'argent pour euh, la restauration des sites miniers, parce qu'on ne veut plus que ce soit possible d'avoir des sites miniers orphelins. With his expertise in microbiology, Dr. Lucien Bordelot was brought in to find a solution in order to restore the tainted soil. Through his research, Bordelot achieved through the collaboration between the forestry, mining, and energy producing industries in the region, a remedy for the orphan mines. Moi, comme ministre des Ressources naturelles, c'est un exemple extraordinaire ce qui se fait ici. Là. On fait de la production d'électricité à partir de résidus d'écorce provenant de la forêt, provenant de la transformation du bois ici au niveau local et régional. Et en, ça, c'est l'intrant. Et ensuite, l'extrant, les cendres, on s'en sert pour revitaliser des sites miniers. Écoutez, forêt, énergie, mine, c'est quand même exceptionnel le projet qui a été présenté. Ici, on a vraiment fait le, le trois secteurs des ressources naturelles pour euh, une intégration, pour réussir à, à faire le, le résultat ici. Donc, je pense qu'on voit qu'il y a une initiative locale qui a donné des super beaux résultats. Quand les gens veulent, parce que ça a été vraiment une initiative locale, c'est parti de la base ici. Quand les gens vont chercher l'expertise, M. Bordelot, qui est un expert au niveau, euh, qui est un agronome, on voit les résultats que ça donne, puis ça donne d'excellents résultats. Et je peux vous dire que c'est quelque chose qui va être étudié avec beaucoup de sérieux par le ministère des Ressources naturelles. Using the ashes from the byproduct of Chape Energy's biomass burning energy production, Bordelot and his team established a layer of ash and biomass in the Opamiska mine in order to allow the microbial life forms to flourish and replenish the soil. The method employed at the Opamiska site involves using natural phenomena such as podialization in order to restore the earth to its natural state. The various properties of the ash combine to form the perfect material to enrich the soil and to create a sustainable environment for microbial life to flourish. A common problem in the restoration of abandoned mines is the erosion of the soil which, due to its tainted state, easily washes away. Current methods use a combination of concrete bedding and geotextiles in order to prevent this from occurring. The ash, however, is able to not only withstand erosion, but does so at a far lower cost. The method pioneered at Opamiska has the potential to restore thousands of hectares of forest land that would have been lost due to the high cost of restoration. But with Bordelot's microbial strategy, the cost of healing the tainted earth is reduced 90%, giving the mining companies more incentive to restore the environment to how it was before the mining operation began. And with over 600 orphan mines in Quebec, Bordelot's solution can save the provincial taxpayers' money in the long haul. 
The true wealth gained from these orphaned mines will be the restored forest land for future generations to enjoy. For The Nation magazine, I'm reporter Akiva Levitas.